sure to check out Ageless Geeks for your figures and collectibles. This video and YouTube channel is rated PG-13, so that means this channel is not for anyone under the age of 13. So what is going on my fellow collectors? How is everybody doing today? Daredevil 19 here, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Storm Collectibles Mortal Kombat Raiden. So let's get into it right away and take a quick look at the box. So as you can see here, we do of course get the basic style box when it comes to Storm's Mortal Kombat lines. We do get the window right there on the front of the box, on the top to say Age of 17 and up, Storm Collectibles 112 Action Series, even though it technically is not a 112 line. And we do get a dope image of Raiden on the front, and it does say Mortal Kombat, and right in then the bottom of the box here we do get the barcode blah 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 so nobody cares about and then here's the top of the box and then the one side cool image of the figure there there's the other side with the continuation of the image from the front of the box looking dope as hell then the back there does show a bunch of really dope poses you can get the god of thunder into along with some of his accessories but anyway that is the packaging let's get this figure up and take a close look at my absolute favorite character from mortal kombat Alrighty, to get a closer detailed look at Raiden, and like usual, Storm Collectibles did a fantastic job with another Mortal Kombat figure. I do have two main issues with the figure. One is his belt freaking broke on me, man, so that that definitely is not a good thing. What I had to do was get a piece of black cloth and put on a cloth belt, which looks fine. I, I, it's just something I did real quickly. I'm going to try to make a better one a little later on, but not too happy about this belt breaking here and then another issue is the paint just falling off at the neck from swapping head sculpts you can see there's there's paint coming off there and then over on the side as well so that's not good man that, that's that's a downside to using rubbery type plastic on the figure a lot you know what I mean so those are two issues I'm definitely not too happy about but besides that this classic Raiden is dope as hell man storm collectibles definitely did this character justice here the the head sculpts look great I love the all white eyes there the eyebrows are painted nice and clean same with the eyes and I like the dark paint that they put around the eyes as well and even his mask turned out really good too or a partial mask that doesn't cover his face you can see where his ears are sculpted, with a few sculpted wrinkles here and there. Paint's really clean where the skin tone does meet the black there. Then we do get his hat, and I forgot what these hats are called. We do have the strap on there, I and mean, there is some shading on the inside. It looks like they added a wash on the top there, which looks really nice. But I uh, definitely dig the way his uh, his hat turned out. That, that turned out pretty dope, man. And then for the torso here, we do get his uh, classic blue gi, I guess this is. And it turned out it turned out pretty good, man. We do get sculpted wrinkles where the belt tightens around the waist right there, which looks pretty cool. A few at the shoulders as well. And it is a soft, rubbery type plastic, as you can see right there. Same with the white part. But that's connected to the crotch piece, this white part here. And the back there, more sculpted wrinkles and stuff. And then these are also a softer, rubbery type plastic, as you can see there. And then the arms turned out pretty good, too. More sculpted wrinkles. We do get these symbols on bands around the bicep there. And it looks like they painted the white on. I guess they reused this from another figure. I'm not sure what color it is. Maybe skin tone color. But I don't know why they didn't just mold it in white. You know what I mean? This turned out really nice though. The, the black paint for the symbol looks great. And then we do get the black wrappings around the uh, forearms, which look dope. And then the legs here. It looks like they also painted the legs white as well. But we get beautiful sculpted wrinkles all throughout the pants there. That looks great, man. Even on the knee joints, they put some sculpted wrinkles. We do get the wrappings around the legs, which look dope. And there is some subtle shading on the pants. I don't really see it on the arms too much, but it's definitely on the pants and the lower legs. It's very subtle, though, as you can see it around, like, the knee and the lower leg over here. And then even on the feet, they added a little bit of shading. Well, there's more on this, really none on that. So the shading's kind of, like, splotched here and there in random spots, you know what I mean? And the bottom of the feet... Nothing going on at all, but yeah, th them painting the white I found a bit odd. I don't know why they didn't just mold it in white, you know what I mean? I feel like paint could possibly uh, chip off, but overall, man, Storm Collectibles did did definitely do this raid injustice. There's a few issues I'm definitely not happy with, but overall, I, I am definitely happy with how the detail did turn out on this figure. But anyway, 
let's continue on. Moving on to the accessories, Raiden is included with a ton of awesomeness. He, he really is included with a bunch of really, really cool stuff. So what we do get, we do get three interchangeable head sculpts, and then we do get the Fatality head sculpt as well. And starting on the left there, we do get the basic stern face, which is the one that does come on the figure out of the packaging. Then next to that, we do get the angry teeth gritted face. Then next to that, we do get the open mouth yelling face and they did a great job on all three of those faces it does look very much like how Raiden did from the the video game there and the paint's really clean throughout all three faces as well and then we do get the fatality head sculpt and this thing is so freaking sick man they keep getting better and better with their fatality uh, accessories that they include with figures you can see the blood dripping all over the side of the face, his tongue's still on there. The blood is a nice translucent plastic. Where it meets at the head, it's more of a darker red, which is definitely cool. Blood dripping all down over there as well. Really cool looking. When you do put this on a figure though, I used it on my MK3 Sub-Zero and it's a very tight fit on the ball peg for the, the neck joint there. So when you pull this head off, it, it, it pulled the entire joint out of the figure so just keep that in mind you might have to uh, end up pulling the joint out of this head sculpt to pop it back into the figure there that's the only issue with that accessory there but the Raiden head sculpts are very easy to swap out I'll show you how to do that right now quickly and I'll show you what this looks like on another figure and swapping the head sculpts on a Raiden is pretty basic when it comes to storm collectibles so you do have to remove his hat you just got to pull forward and get the strap out from under the chin then what i do you have to hold on to the joint because when i remove the head here the joint likes to come out with the head sculpt here so i kind of hold around where the neck is pull up till it pops off the joint one thing look at that man that paint is just coming right off there man that is not good at all i mean i like that they use the the rubbery plastic type upper bodies but I don't know, man. For the neck, they might have to switch it up. Because this isn't the first time I, I've had this issue. I have also had it with Shao Kahn. So, and I think it's happening on my Bane and Doomsday as well. So Storm really does need to switch up how they do the necks there. Because that's not good with the paint coming off like that, man. So uh, to get the, the other head on, all you do is just push down on the joint. And it just pegs right on there. Then take the hat here, get the strap under the chin and then just slide it over the head and then there you go as simple as that to swap the head sculpts and here is an image of what the fatality head sculpt does look like on one of these storm collectibles figures which is pretty damn awesome so we do get all that awesome stuff and then we also get six different types of lightning effects so we do have the ones that are connected to the hands on the top left and we do get the longer ones in the middle there and then we do get the ones that you put in between the open palm type hands fingers and before that I just wanted to give a big thank you to to storm for now including extra wrist joints with their figures this is the first figure I ever got at extra wrist joints with one of their figures in their line so that is definitely awesome that they did do that so for the lightning effects here we do get the ones that go in between the fingers of the open hands here and these are the the parts that go in between the fingers down over here and they are connected uh, with a peg one of mine came out this one I don't think they're glued in well this one seems to be but that's cool how you could swivel it swivel this one around at least I don't know if they're meant to do that but I, I like how you can do it with this one here but these look great man a very nice uh, like light blue translucent plastic you can see it's lighter in certain parts darker in other parts and they are different. They're not identical or anything like that. So that's definitely pretty cool. Really dig the way these turned out. And I'll show you how to get those on shortly. So we do get the ones for the open palm hands. Then we do get the other ones here where he's like calling down the lightning from the heavens. And uh, these turned out just as great. All their lightning effects look awesome, man. You can see it goes from a little bit of a darker blue to a lighter blue. All throughout the lightning effects there. And they're all a translucent plastic. And you just pretty much put these around his arms, which I'll show you how to do that shortly as well. And then last for the lightning effects, we do get the ones that are connected to the fingers on these open hands here. And these also look great, man. The lightning effects turned out great. And uh, the hands 
Look pretty good too. The hands are a translucent plastic and the paint seems to be pretty clean where the, the lightning meets with the fingers there. So they, they did do a pretty good job with that. A little bit of the skin tone did uh, bleed onto the lightning effect on the thumb there, but really not that big of a deal. And these hands aren't a softer rubbery type plastic like how most hands are, but definitely cool uh, lightning, lightning effect accessories with Raiden. Definitely would have liked like, an, a, like a lightning effect ball, like he's gathering up energy, but I mean, they did include a ton of stuff, man. So let me show you how to get the other lightning effects onto the figure quickly. And the way you get Raiden to use his lightning effects now for the ones where he's sending the power down from the heavens above. Now, these pieces are supposed to be all the way upward, and these is what you wrap around his hands and arms here, which I guess you just do it any way you want until it actually stays on there, like something like that, and then do the same thing on uh, the other hand here. Just do something like that, just so it stays on there, and then there you go. You have him using that accessory there, which is pretty cool, actually. So that is for those lightning effects accessories now for the other ones which probably are my favorite lightning effect accessories here so you need the the open palm finger clenching hands here i mean you could use these as well but they do work best with uh these hands here all right so i i believe they're they're each meant for each hand i, I i'm pretty sure you can use them for whichever hand you want so all you do is just this all right, there's the right hand. Now let's get it for the left hand here. And then there you go. And they stay in there pretty well. This one tends to fall off easier than that one, though. But those look dope once you have them on the figure. Like I said, these are definitely my favorite lighting, lightning effects with Raiden. So we do get that awesome stuff. And you can't go wrong with an awesome God of Thunder action figure like Raiden. And I concur. And I, Thor Odin's son. God of Thunder concurs as well. Hey, Thor! Yes? Wrong God of Thunder, man. We're talking about Raiden here, not Thor. Huh. Very well. Will I still concur? And then we finally get, not including the lightning hands, we do get a total of 10 alternate hands. And starting on the top right here, we do get a pair of fists, of course, which do come on the figure out of the packaging. Then we do get a pair of karate chippity chop chop hands. Then we do get a pair of, like, martial art stance type hands with the uh, middle and, and pointer finger out there, which looks pretty cool. Then we do get some open hands, which you can also use as like a martial arts stance type hand gesture. And then finally, we do get some open finger clenching hands. And these ones are meant for those lightning effects, as I did show you earlier. And all the hands are very simple to swap out. And we do get some nice detail throughout all 10 hands. And like I say, how they are easy to swap out, that is a good thing, because you don't want to risk breaking a wrist joint on your Raiden figure. But if you do, don't worry, Storm Collectibles did include extra wrist joints, as I did mention before. So that is a good thing. But anyway, that is all the awesome accessories included with the God of Thunder. Let's keep moving on with the rest of the review, shall we? Now, for the height of Raiden to the very top of his head with his hat on, it looks like he stands a little bit over 7 inches tall, and then without the hat on, he stands a little bit under 7 inches tall. And then here he is compared to the Storm Collectibles, Sub-Zero, Scorpion, Baraka, and Goro. And I think Raiden scales really well with the other figures in the Storm MK line. And then here he is compared to the McFarlane Toys MK11 Raiden, the McFarlane Toys MK11 Spawn, the NECA original movie team in T. Raphael, and then we do have the NECA AVP Ancient Warrior, and I did give him a custom mask, and he does have a custom sword as well, and both those accessories were made by LRL underscore customs on Instagram. This dude makes sick NECA predator accessories he mainly focuses on masks but he does weapons and other stuff as well man check his stuff out he does he does great stuff and the masks do have led lights so it lights up the eyes but i will do a, a quick video of the mask and the sword in the upcoming days and then here he is compared to the storm collectible sector the marvel legends retro series deadpool the mafex justice league batman and the figma black swordsman guts and then here he is compared to the ESH Figure Arts Awaken Warrior Super Saiyan Goku and the Mezco 112 Deadpool. Anyway, there's some quick comparisons. 
Let's keep moving on with the rest of the review. So now for the articulation and rate in here, as you expect to see from Storm Collectibles, does have some pretty damn good articulation. So we do have that barbell type joint that we do always see with these Storm Collectible figures. So one end of the barbell connects into the head, the other end connects into the upper torso there. So with both joints and his hat on, you can get him to look up pretty well. And then both joints looking down, he looks down really well. And then you can move the hat forward and back also to do like the hidden face look under the hat, which is pretty cool. So I do like how the hat is a separate piece and you can move that around. Then you do get pivot at the lower neck and then at the upper neck as well, but it's much better at the lower neck and then it does swivel also. Like I said, be careful articulating the head here because you're going to chip off some of that black paint around the neck, which definitely is not good. Then we do get a torso and a waist joint here. And since we do have a softer rubbery plastic torso, it really does not get in the way too much and Raiden can crunch forward pretty well and with both those joints goes back much better actually and then you do get pivot at the waist which is fantastic and then you do get pivot at the torso which is also great you do get swivel at the torso and then of course swivel at the waist there so really nice uh, torso movement with right in here and the waist joint as well now for the arms here we get a beautiful circular motion out of the shoulders that is a great joint man then the arms do go out to the sides a lot more than 90 degrees so that's definitely dope they do go up and down we do have true bicep swivel but it does does not spin in a full 360 as you can see you can only swivel it this much there which is a bit odd then we do have double jointed elbows and they just barely get past 90 degrees because his clothing the way they sculpted it on his bicep they made it a bit too baggy so it won't bend in any further than that and we do have a ball hinge on the wrist so that does swivel and hinges back and forth then the legs here oh yeah and the belt can swivel where the tie is but mine did break but uh Raiden can kick forward a little more than 90 degrees so that's definitely cool it goes to the back a tiny bit let's see if he can Jean-Claude Van Damme it and he definitely can. Raiden needs to be able to fan damn it, you know what I mean? So, very nice leg movement with Raiden. Then we do get a little bit of a, of a hip swivel. Not the best, though. Then we do have double jointed knees, and those do bend back all the way. Then the ankles here, they don't swivel, which I'm not too happy with. They need to add and swivel somewhere else on the leg besides just at the minimal hip swivel there so still not happy with how they're doing the ankles and and not really giving us good swivel from the leg down to the ankle there but Raiden's ankles really don't hinge up too much hinge down really well as you can see right there then you do get the forward facing pin ankle rocker but I'm not a fan of these type of ankle pivots man as you can see the bottom of the foot is going to the front of the leg I don't like that I do not like that type of ankle pivot, man. And then you do get a nice toe hinge. Now, if they worked in a swivel, like, say, here, I would be fine with this pivot because then you could swivel the leg inside, so then this would look more normal, but not really a fan of these here. So, overall, Raiden does have some really nice articulation. He does have the more updated articulation that we have been seeing more and more on these, uh, the, these Mortal Kombat storm collectibles figures and i still hope they, they add in swivel somewhere else throughout the leg or at the ankle man they really do need to do that but besides that and having to worry about the the paint coming off at the neck from articulating the head and neck this raiden does have some pretty damn good articulation and you're going to be able to get them in some classic raiden like poses and i'm about to show you some of those poses right about now but anyway, that is my review of the Storm Collectibles Mortal Kombat Raiden. Hope you enjoyed it. If I had to rate this figure with detail, I'd give it an even 8. Articulation, I'd give it a 7.5. Accessories would easily give it a perfect 10. And then the overall quality, I'd have to give it a 6.5. If you would like to know the price and where to buy this figure, I did get this from Storm Collectibles' website. But Ageless Geeks does have this up for pre order and he should be getting it very soon. So you can go to ageless.com. When you check out, use code name Daredevil and you will get yourself... A bit of a discount if you can't find something on their website. I do highly recommend going through their Instagram or Facebook page. I'll put more information in the description below. And if you would like to support the channel, don't forget to subscribe and click on that notification bell. And if you liked it, feel free to give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, oh well, I guess you didn't like it. But thanks for watching. I will 
See you later. Fatality. Raiden wins. side with a dope image of the figure there then the front of the baby uh, messed that up didn't I I certainly did Mortal Kombat <laughs>